Flynn. For more on this, Northern Beaches MP Jason Polinski joins us now to discuss the impact on the community. Jason, this has been a surprise for many that their Christmas can go ahead as planned or near enough. Were you expecting this? Uh, look, I was hoping for it, to be honest. Um, you know, the, the data, the medical advice, the science was all pointing to it being a possibility. So I think that what we've ended up with is um, obviously going to be a disappointment to some people, um, especially those people on the northern beaches who are not from directly from the affected area. But it's what we, what the medical experts are telling us what we need to do to keep the community safe and to ensure that this virus doesn't spread further. Yeah, so it's splitting the area into north and south for the northern beaches. Do you think that's the right call? Look, I, I think from the very beginning, um, it, the lockdown on the entire northern beaches was, I think, done because that's the council area, so it was done on the basis of the local government area. But when you looked at the data, most of the outbreak was in Avalon and um, obviously dissipated slightly out from Avalon, but it has been very concentrated and very contained in Avalon. So... It, it's really unfortunate for those people in Avalon and, and the surrounding areas, those people, I guess, behind the COVID curtain for this Christmas, um, that they won't be able to have a normal Christmas after such an unnormal year. But um, this has just been really bad timing and uh, the New South Wales Health Department has shown itself once again why it's the world leader in this sort of tracking and tracing and containing this most virulent of viruses. And where do you fit in with this temporary arrangement and has it changed Christmas for you? It has. Um, my wife's father actually uh, had an emergency operation a couple of weeks ago. Um, they live in Port Macquarie. We were hoping to spend Christmas with them this year. So we have been badly impacted by um, these arrangements. I'm, I'm, I'm still in the Northern Beaches biosphere, but uh, I'm um, not behind the COVID curtain. I'm, I'm in Collaroy, but still we won't be able to leave the area. Um, we'll be able to spend Christmas with my parents, but uh, she won't be able to see her father for Christmas, which is causing, you know, some degree of angst. Yeah, understandable. And, um, I mean, you are in amongst it. How are people feeling about the cluster situation, also the subsequent lockdown? And have you been able to gauge much of the reaction to this reprieve, given you are in lockdown? Uh, look, um, I, I went out and did some shopping this morning. Um, by that stage, we still hadn't had the announcement People were very hopeful um, that we would be able to um, have a, a normal Christmas or something approximating a normal Christmas. Um, obviously, a lot of people feared that we wouldn't be able to do that. But the sense of community on the northern beaches from the moment this outbreak was revealed last week to even today has been just extraordinary. The phone calls and emails that I've been getting from people saying, look, this, you know, this isn't great. Um, they've been using sometimes stronger language than that. But when you compare our Christmas to that that many other people are having in many other parts of the world, it still isn't too bad. Um, I think that sort of level of uh, understanding and contextualising up here is what's really set the community apart, why you've seen so many people come out and get tested and why people have been so understanding under very difficult circumstances. It is a nuanced approach. Do you think there will be confusion, genuine confusion, also possibly willful ignorance? And will it also be hard to go back to a lockdown situation come the 27th? Um, look, my hope is that the data that we've seen over the last few days continues, that that trend continues. And if that trend continues, then um, obviously you want to leave this with the medical experts and, and follow the science. But you would have to say if the trend continues the way that it is continuing, then going back into lockdown won't, ne won't necessarily be necessary. Obviously, we want to take a precautionary approach, but the approach that we've taken in New South Wales over many months on this issue has proven to be very effective. I think that the government, the Department of Health, um, Gladys Berejiklian has managed to get the complete buy-in from the community. And that's why we haven't had to have onerous and mandatory um, requirements brought in. She's been able to rely on the cooperation and the buy-in from the community, not just here on the northern beaches, but across Sydney. And that has proven to be a far more effective approach generally. And when you look at other parts of the world, when you allow people to buy in and to cooperate with health authorities, that's been a far more effective approach. What about people seeking exemptions to this current arrangement on compassionate grounds, uh, be it over this Christmas period or, or the wider lockdown? Where yeah, do they go so, to, to seek out information on that? 
Um, so Gemma, there's, um, they can go to the New South Wales Department of Health to both get information and an application for that. The phone number is 1300 288 two. Um, there's also an email address to attach that if they prefer to email the Department of Health. Um, I've, uh, I've actually sent that to you guys because it's quite a long and convoluted one. Um, but uh, that is uh, the best way if people want to go about um, seeking an exemption. There are grounds on compassionate um, grounds that you can seek an exemption to leave the Northern Beaches if you need to. And I encourage anyone who's worried about that to ring 1300 288 two and seek more information. And Jason, before we let you go, um, testing rates on the Northern Beaches have been phenomenal. Are you worried that they're going to drop right off over this period? Well, you would expect to see a drop off because I think we're nearing about 100%. So um, there would be some people going back for a second go, Gemma, if they stay at this rate. Uh, but look, um, that has been the, one of the major factors in us being able to contain this virus on the Northern Beaches and, and right across Sydney, which is so many people have come out to get tested, which has given our health authorities the sort of data they need to make accurate um, predictions and not only reliable ones, but ones that they can have confidence in. So I'd encourage anyone, once again, who has even the mildest of symptoms to go and get uh, tested, um, to keep looking at the New South Wales Department of Health website to see as those venues get updated. And look, um, my daughter and I went and got tested yesterday. Uh, it, we were uh, sat in line for about an hour. It seemed to go much faster than that. And it's really worth doing just even to keep both your, your neighbours, your community and family and friends safe over this Christmas and New Year period. Northern Beaches MP Jason Falinski, thank you. Thanks, Gemma.